Are you a drummer? If you are, that is super cool. If you are not like me and you want to add drums to your tracks in GarageBand iOS on the iPhone or the iPad, the drummer feature is one of the coolest ways to add some realistic sounding drums. And in this video, I'm going to show you not only how to use drummer, but how to use the very cool follow feature where your drummer will follow one of the instruments in your track. Let's go. Here we are back in our Garage Band project and we have our drums already laid out here. We've got our man Kyle on the drums here and I have programmed in Kyle's drums for the entire song. Now, I wanted to save you the pain of me going through painstakingly and doing these drums, although it's not that much pain. But if you do like pain or if you just want to learn more about the drummer feature, you can check out the link that I'll put up above and down below. And that is a previous tutorial I did where I went through an entire drum drum section and completed that using drummer. However, for today, let's jump into drummer and just see what we did here. So the first two bars here are literally just the lead in. They're not even part of the song, but I recommend you have two bars lead in just to make sure you can get ready. You can start getting your instruments prepared and that you don't cut off the start of your guitars or your bass or anything. And I showed you why we do that in the bass episode as well. So our first two bars sound like this. And then when we kick in here, we've got just the kick drum with the piano and bass that sounds like this. It then goes to our kick drum and our snare, and then we add in our hi-hat as we come into our woes. Whoa. And the one cool thing that I really wanted to show you here was this follow button that's on down here. So what I'll do is if I turn that follow off, which I'll do now, and then we go back to the start of this section, and we'll play this again, and you'll hear that the drums sound okay, but they're not really syncing in beautifully with the music. Just have a listen. Your kick and your snare pattern is just going doof, dish, doof, doof, dish, which is an okay kick and snare pattern. But what we can do is we can tap this follow button and turn our follow on. And you'll notice above the follow, we have our classic stack here, which is our bass guitar. So we can actually choose any other track and ask the drummer to follow that throughout the entire song or even just in particular sections. So that's exactly what we're doing here. We want our drums to sync up with our bass guitar that we recorded in the last video. So by selecting Selecting classic stack, let's go back and have a listen to this drum now. You can hear a different kick and snare pattern. So it's got that bow, 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 bow. And that just really brings the song together. So it's a very cool function. It's the main reason I wanted to show you this is to be able to use that follow function, sync it up with your bass guitar or one of your bass instruments or experiment, try it with a, a lead or your vocals or whatever. It doesn't matter. You can choose any track and make it follow with your drums, which is very, very cool. So I went through here. I've, I won't show you each in detail, but I've basically laid out all of my drums. Now, a key thing here is to don't ever put your drums up to the very loudest like that because they'll start distorting and kicking in your automated limiter that you have here in GarageBand, which makes your track sound really bad and starts that horrible pumping effect that you get with a, a high compression or with a limiter. So we have our drums going through here, and then we get to this point where we can turn off the drums. And, and one of the cool features of Drummer is that you can have your drums in there and you can turn it completely off. So this section here... I, there is no cry. And then we can just turn off the drums and then kick back into our next section. Now, I did use a little bit of copying and pasting here too. As if you've been listening to this song, the first verse and chorus is pretty similar to the second verse and chorus. So I copied and pasted that and then just that made some variations to the hi-hat pattern over here like this. And the fills down the bottom here, you can actually dial those into different amounts, which I won't do too much because I'll change my fills. And then you'll notice here that each section here, I've like gone to the toms. You can select the tom drums there. I've gone up onto the cymbals like here, where you'll hear this up on the uh, on the ride cymbals. 
It's hard to lose. And then back down onto the tom. So uh, drummer is not just about throwing your drummer at it and saying, here, just play something random. You've got a lot of control over the way you use drummer. And when we get down here to our bridge section, we uh, I've really changed up the drummer. So we've got him up on the toms here. And I think this section sounds particularly good. And again, you can hear that bass guitar doing that doom, 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 doing the quarter notes, the four on the floor kind of beat. And the tom drums are actually mirroring that because we're using our follow, which is why follow is such a powerful feature. We love it. Uh, so then we go back in here, we bring our snare drum back in. Now it's 10 years on and I'm feeling. And again, you can add and remove any of the elements that we have here by just tapping and then tapping again. So you can have just your toms, you have your kick and your toms, your kick, snare, toms. You obviously can't have like your cymbals and your hi-hat and your toms because drummers have two arms. I think I've said that, I think I made that same joke in my last drummer video, if you want to check that out. Um, anyway, we'll move on from here and we can see here that we go through the rest of the track here and then right here at the end, we bring it on home and this is where we really sort of push up the loudness and the complexity of our drums to sort of crescendo this song home like this. So our drummer is up on his cymbals, he's got a loud and complex beat, he's still following that bass, uh, bass guitar, and then we bring it on home at the end there. So that is our drums, that's some, some few little quick tips and techniques to use when you're using drummer, and again, as I said, I've got other videos all about drummer and other ways to add drums to your tracks, but I just wanted to give you a little peek and a little glimpse into how I created the drums for this track. And there you go, I hope you enjoy this sneak peek into the drum track of my new song and learning about the follow feature, how cool is that? If you've got comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, you've made it to the end, so I'm going to tell you a secret. I recorded a 20-minute video all about drummer, and it was really bad. So you got this instead. There's two videos down below if you'd like to check those out. You can also subscribe in the link up there, and head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.